Hi. Polyline is the most powerful item that you can use in native cam. When you choose select a polyline, all you have to do is define the origin. You can rotate it too. You can offset after you design everything and you realize it's not exactly at the right place. And for milling, global tool engagement, we'll talk about that later in an, another video. Tool compensation. Since uh, it can stay open, it does not have to be closed. It's not possible to be uh, to write if it's inside or outside or on the line. Tool compensation then is done on the left or the right. Direction, design direction will cut or it can cut in the reverse direction starting with the last item you add cut start and cut down to are the same as others and closing we'll talk about that when we have added some items we have many items we have two line items we have five arc items two are based on the center two are based on the end and one is based on a mirror line that can go from the arc center to a, to a point to define. You can have repeated items, you select few items and you repeat them a number of times as many as you want and you can mir mirror items from the first item that you select, you can mirror them on a line that you define too and you can mirror a whole polyline. This does not go in the polyline but outside of the polyline. Let's start with a line 2. So this line we have, we'll talk about this the next line. Um, the option relative or absolute. It doesn't matter in this case but if I change the, the origin to 1 then that's what happened. But if I leave it to relative, so it's right. No matter if I change the origin or whatever. I recommend that you use most of the time relative position. Let's add the other one. It's a line polar position. We have it at 60 degree. The angle is absolute. Or it can be relative to the previous line or chord. You see the angle it formed here is 60 degree and relative to previous arc center there's no arc before it's a line then it does not apply it take care of the the previous line so let's leave it like this and the length will make it one inch milling tool engagement we'll talk about later now it's time to talk about the link the link is the way it connects with the previous line. Here we do not have a previous line, but we may have a closing line that we will link to after. You can round this or some kind of fillet. I cannot call this a fillet because you can reverse the direction of the line of the arc. Okay? Or you can make a chamfer so it will be a three tenth of an inch from the apex each side or you can make it inverted round that in this case the center of the arc is the apex and you can make a complement here complementary angle so we'll leave it like this for now and let's add some arc arc with ig it can we can use it with offset or absolute position if you were using absolute position make sure that when we move this if we move this the center change to the center leave at, stays at the same place okay center of this this arc was 1 x x1 y0 it's here right here the center yeah, as you can see so okay 
let's leave it at the offset for now and the angle it ends it's maybe 60 degree relative to start in a counterclockwise position or clockwise position or it can be absolute to arc center okay the same thing here we can link to the previous one with um, inverted round or uh, round however when we do it in some case the link radius was the link radius was too large for what was available from space from the link that is left because of the first link that we were we created it's always the previous line that has priority let's add another thing arc with polar center we want the center to be polar from the position at a polar position from where it start and the angle is absolute zero degree or let's say 30 degree then we can have, can have relative to previous line or chord it will change the place where it is or to previous arc center okay but let's keep it at absolute and the angle with it where it end 100 degree absolute to arc center counterclockwise clockwise as you can see you can design about anything with this okay we'll make it relative to start 180 degree next let's add an arc to cohorts we want the arc to end at the cords that is um, relative to x oh and here what happens because the radius is not large enough it changed to a line and this is what it says here link radius set to change arc to line length of one unit or one inch is too short for radius it need to be greater than 1.118 okay so what we can do instead of radius we can set it to arc height so half an inch would be all right Whoop. 0.5 but it's the center is not at the right position for an half an inch now we have it we just flip the center on the opposite side of the cord and if we change the direction clockwise we have the same situation change it bring it here okay just flip the center let's see if it like this another one arc to polar this is the end that is at the polar center here it was the center now it's the end and the end we want with a chord length of two inches at uh, minus uh, 30 degree and again it changed to a straight line because the radius is not large enough so let's change this to our height we have it right here change that it does not change because the chord length is exactly the diameter point eight and we can change flip the center and we can do round or inverted doesn't matter arc mirror end we want an arc but we are not sure exactly where we want the end but this establish a mirror line from the center of the arc to x10 y0 this is why it's like this if I change that x5 y0 then it changes the, it means the center is about from there to here that's a mirror line and it set the the end relative to that ok 
okay it's the same if you put if you draw a line from the center to x5 y5 y5 excuse me y0 you would have the same side exactly the n is mirrored to that line okay we're using for the arc center you, we're using offset or the same absolute position okay after this we can repeat items let's add some lines line like this a line like that okay and we'll duplicate just by pressing ctrl D we will duplicate the polar line ctrl D ctrl D so the first line we want it to be line 2 relative 1 1 line for our let's say it's a 0 and it's a 0.5 inch we see it there the third line let's say it's minus 30 degree absolute position and it's two inches and the last line is leave it like this so the repeat item by default it's only one you make you leave only one when you design it but when you want three copy repeat three times that's what we get okay other thing um, before that I will disable this and let's talk about closing we do not it's not closed now we can close with a straight line it will go back to the zero zero or we can do it with a clockwise arc that is too short if we use the arc height we have the same situation here replace flip the center or arc counterclockwise we will have to bring the center back on this side okay that's how we can close that but there's another another way to close a polyline it is by when when the polyline is start at zero start at zero we can who will we will we will deactivate this okay and now we will mirror all these items here on the x-axis at the end or it can be done right after here mirror items and it's not active by default we have to make sure we define the line where it is the line will go from minus from x minus 10 to x 10 y is on zero and we want to show the line the mirror line when we activate this so that's what we have okay Up. hide the line and we see it is a complete figure now in this we can um, the connection between what we had before and what was mirrored can be a straight line in our clockwise or in our counterclockwise let's start let's see with an art clockwise and we can radius that to round that so to let's say one inch so we have a smooth transition and we design a part that is uh, quite complex and <coughs> after you mirror the items you can also mirror everything else it's not a good idea because it will no it's an art mirror that's all right no it doesn't work for some reason because it is on zero and the offset one inch um, instead we will repeat the item it should but uh, I'm not sure why it did not okay so from the point that we stop we 
have our three um, our three items our items that are repeat that mean there are four there are 12 items here you can have over 100 items 150 maybe I don't know it depends on the memory you have install uh, but this is all in G code it's um, it used the global parameter to um, for, in for the memory of those this arc I will move down simply and I will activate this and now I have this arc after I did all this okay if we stop like this let's see closing we can close again with a straight line now it will close but that's a funny figure you have to decide by yourself if it's something you want to design it just shows you that you can design about anything in two and a half D after this product line is done you can add let's say we'll add a rectangle or a circle it's in the center but I will put it above with the X being at um, six inches okay I move it there and after that I can add I can mirror the polyline that's there so the polyline was mirrored on X axis but now it is mirrored on Y axis so you can move it by uh, minus three inches okay it was move and five inches up and you can rotate it 45 degree and uh, and that's about it 